But the basic point that the South African people are interested in is who is on the take? Who is corrupt inside the government? And what we know, not from Mr. De Reuter, but what we know from the Zondo Commission, which has been painstakingly looking at this so-called state capture, where money from, that should go to help the people of this country build a better country is being siphoned off by criminals and their partners in government. What we know is that 14 billion rand of ESCOM contract, contracts went to state capture, to criminality. We know that 41 billion rand was looted from Transnet, the main transport state-owned enterprise, uh, uh. by state capture. This is not for discussion. The Zondo Commission has investigated, and that's what Who it found. Who established the Zondo Commission? Is the ANC? Well, you, as a you, major, expect, you expect credit, as a major, you expect as, credit as a, for that? As a measure of fighting corruption, I don't expect credit for that. I'm saying, do not be economic with your projection of the past as though it was not dealt with. That's the problem you people are all about. There was Zondo Commission, it simply fell from the sky, it happened on its own, the ANC was just folded arms and allowed corruption to, to deal with. Can a failed state do that? To establish a commission to fight a, a, a corruption? So and you, learn tell from me, it? you tell me Let the me senior tell you, figures inside the, the figures, ANC the figures, who have been brought to can, justice. Have you, for, been, have you been told, I can't give you now the numbers, how many billions have been covered through for feature unit, which has been beefed up in the fight against state capture and getting money that has been stolen as a result of corruption in this country. As we speak, you're not emphasizing that. Correctly so, the report of the Zondo Commission does say those things, but who established the Zondo Commission? It's the ANC. Where are the big fish where have in the you government seen, and the ANC where, who are currently behind bars for systemic corruption? The work in terms of this commission has just ended a year ago. Law enforcement is a lot of resources have been injected into, into law enforcement. Special investigations to investigate this corruption are, are being undertaken. The Guptas have run away from this country. We are still fighting their extradition from Dubai.